Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel where today we are doing another speed build for the Not So Berry Challenge. Apologies in advance if you can hear any banging or scratching in the background of this video. I've just given my tortoise a strawberry which is his favourite food and uh, he's the most excited person in the world right now so I apologise for that. As I said we're building this house for the Not So Berry Challenge and if you're not aware the Rose Gen of the Not So Berry Challenge becomes the president of the Sim World and they do a lot of the, their work in the city so I'm renovating one of the penthouses in the city to be yellow and red themed. It's a lot. It's a lot. Let's just say that. But that's the whole fun of the Not So Berry Challenge, isn't it? If you are a returning viewer, thank you. This week I hit my 100 subscriber milestone. I hit it on, I think, Wednesday or Tuesday this week, just gone. And today is Sunday and I woke up and YouTube had said congratulations on hitting 100 subscribers. And I said, YouTube, you're a little bit behind. You're a little bit behind. You should have been telling me this earlier in the week. I could have had a party, but that's fine. How am I going to celebrate 100 subscribers? Well. I'm going to treat myself to the new Sims 4 pack, of course, Crystal, Crystal Collections, Crystal Creations, whatever it is, I used to be a Crystal Freak and I'm sorry, that era is back. I am in my Crystal era. Last night was a full moon and I, I cleansed my crystals in salt water and then I left them to moon bathe overnight and honestly I've had nothing but troubles this morning if I'm completely honest everything has gone wrong but I'm not gonna blame the crystals for that I'm, I'm I'm just hoping that the new pack maybe they've edited some of the rocks in the world so that you find more crystals because I'm trying to finish the element collection on the not so berry challenge and I'm finding it really difficult so uh, I don't want to have to buy them off the internet. I know I can do that. And I will if I have to, but I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that with this new pack, they'll make it so you can come across crystals and metals more easily. And that will help us out quite a bit. So on the build, you must know this is not my style at all. First of all, red really isn't my style. It's it's a very angry color, isn't it? We've done the kitchen and the dining room. We're now working on the living room. I thought if this is like the presidential suite where all the presidents live, presidents of the sim world, it's gonna be decorated very traditionally, which also isn't my style of build. I've, I haven't done that completely, but I have like made the grand dining table. I wanted like the living areas, the living room and the kitchen to be a bit more family oriented. But if you know the Not So Berry Challenge as well, you'll know that Rose Jen doesn't really much care for Yellow Jen, who is her child. So yeah, we've made it a bit more homey in those areas, but where they have like the meetings with the world leaders that's at the dining table and also in front of the dining table you'll see in a little while i've made like a little library area which i just think every presidential suite needs a little library and i've also put a couple of bars in this build because i imagine there'll be a lot of entertaining like people that you don't really know that much coming round, like oh have a drink it'll lighten the mood a bit you know I added walls to this build because I felt like the open space in the middle was a bit too much. I didn't know what to put in there, so I thought I'll give it its own hallway and that's when I decided to build this little library. I think we'll be going upstairs very shortly, but I love that lamp. It came with the maximalist kit and I don't know anyone else that likes that lamp, but I love it. I really think it's a statement piece. Have I got anything else I can tell you about my life this week? Well, if you watched my video where I built the new house for Mint Gen in um, Copperdale, you'll know that I was making sushi and I can tell you a great success was had by me. I've been very tired this week, so I made sushi that one time. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot harder than putting some crumpets in the toaster and poaching an egg. 
so I haven't had sushi every day like I promised but gosh it was delicious I put kimchi in it kimchi and um, yeah I'll be making that again more often I think I am messing around with the floor plan up here as you can see I always like on a staircase to have a big grand like where you can look down and see the hallway underneath I'd forgotten that it would be open up into two rooms so I had to kind of mess around with it a bit and then I was like the rooms now don't make sense because I turned the stairs round to face the front door so the hallway was now a bedroom and one of the bedrooms is now the hallway and I hate how the wallpapers I want a wallpaper where it's like got the bit at the bottom and no bit at the top and then only that color at the top that can go all the way up can I have that sims please this red is very garish and I cannot I we're not going to be spending a lot of time in that hallway I can tell you and while I remember about like garish nightmare things I must tell you about the dream that I had last night what is that in the wall by the way it says it's not part of my build what is it if anyone can answer me that question please tell me what that is that's sticking out of my wall and um, but going back to my dream that I had last night a long time ago if you're from the UK you'll know about the soap opera Hollyoaks and I used to dream I, I did watch Hollyoaks but it was never like a religious thing like all teenagers watch Hollyoaks okay and I just used to even when I wasn't actively watching it, I would dream about Hollyoaks. I don't know why. It was never a straightforward dream either. It was always a horror dream. I remember one time people's faces were being cut off and put onto someone else's face so that the murders in the village would be blamed on that person instead of the actual person that it was. But in my dream last night, it had been cancelled. You're speaking to the wrong person because I don't even know if Hollyoaks is still a thing, but... In my dream it had been cancelled and as like a big finale what they decided to do was to kill off every character in Hollyoaks and it was like a big mystery like who done it? I'll tell you who done it. Harold from Neighbours. Where did he come from? Oh my goodness. And when you know that's the kind of thing that goes on in my brain while I'm asleep, you can imagine what goes on inside my brain while I'm awake, correct? So currently we're building the bedroom for Yellow Jen and I'm really excited for Yellow Jen because first of all, she's into space and so am I. I love space. I love the moon. I have a book of moon stuff. And you know what, when people are like, oh my God, you believe in star signs? Yeah, I do. Cause I'm like 100% made out of water at least 34% water. Hang on, let me Google this. Be right back. I'm back. 60% water the human body is made up of in an adult. And you're telling me that the moon controls the water, the moon controls the tides, but it doesn't control anything I do. Well, you're wrong. I am the most Taurus Taurus you've ever met. And I do not do that on purpose. That is just who I am and I will fight you. But anyway, I love, it scares me actually how like infinite space is. If I think about it too much, I, I get agoraphobic, but the opposite. So like, I'm just little old me in this house, in this estate, in this village, in this town, in this county, in this country, in this world, just me on my own. Everything is very big and I'm very small. It scares me if I think about it too much, but I had a lot of fun going through like the werewolves pack, a lot of moon stuff in that. Yeah, she's gonna be a moon gal. And it's fun because you never play the astro, I never play the astronaut career because it's just not, if you're being like realistic gameplay, how many astronauts do you know? I know one, she was a dog, don't get me started on it because it breaks my heart. Laika, stop it. Ugh. I was stuck on Laika TikTok the other week and gosh, I've never cried so much in my life. But I love that bedroom that I've made for Yellow Jen. I'm gonna obviously give it more personality when they move in. I don't know what age she's gonna be when they move into this house, but I had a lot of fun looking for all of that moon stuff. And now I'm sad about the dog 
the next two bedrooms that we build, I'm not sure. One of them is definitely like the master bedroom and I think it's the first one that we do, but I've not decided fully yet because it's not got an ensuite and the other one has, but it just felt bigger and it's got like um, closets in it. But I think the other bedroom, I don't know, will they have a butler? Probably if it's the president, but also isn't um, Faye meant to look after yellow jen so maybe she could like bunk in that room i don't know i don't know how this is going to play out but i do have a story of how yellow jen comes to be in my head already and i cannot tell you it's a secret but what i can tell you is that the next speed build we probably do is going to be in university world brightester and because the president has obviously gone to uni right she's gonna live in the dorms of i wanted it to be foxbury because that's the red one but obviously the politics korea it's brychester she is gonna have to go to brychester distinguished degree at brychester and i may have already built that i'm not sure but that'll be our next speed build but i'm thinking before we do that i want to play another episode of house flipper because i do really enjoy that and i think i did play an episode of it but my file got corrupted so i mean it will have been boring for you because all i was doing was cleaning but oh, it's basically like unpacking at this point if, if you've ever played the game unpacking you're in like a house full of boxes and you just have to put stuff in places and it's really therapeutic and the music to that game is just well, I love it. If ever anyone is looking for a game that's like chill, chill out vibes and unaffordable, I will never not recommend unpacking. It's just my only complaint is that it could be longer, could be longer, but I'm down for a DLC. I would pay for extra content for that game. Ugh. And the storyline, if you really pay attention to the storyline that goes along with it, Oh, it's really sad but really nice so i'm pretty sure we're on the last room of the build and this is the room that i was saying like is it the butler's room or is it Faye's room as i said we haven't got to this like red rose gen is only a toddler so this is a long way off so we don't like know what's going to happen with that yet imagine if Faye had have died in the last episode if you didn't know in last in the last not so berry episode Faye almost died she caught herself on fire and that would have ruined yellow gen because Faye's meant to look after yellow gen the not so berry challenge would have been over for us would i have started it again maybe i think i would have just carried on with rose gen i was thinking in my head this is over this is it this is done but she extinguished herself at the very last minute i have decorated that bathroom as if it is for a butler actually now that i am noticing because i i've put all like the cleaning products and everything in there so maybe that is what it's going to be but this is the finished build we've got like the bar area the fancy dining room the modernish kitchen oh, with my little pressure cooker the little library area with the lamp that is just great and the living area simple nothing on the walls wallpapers too much I've not put a lot on the walls actually because the wallpaper is very busy and they're gonna bring stuff with them so yeah this video has been me building the penthouse for Rose Jen of the Not So Berry Challenge if you've enjoyed it please give it a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one bye